walk. So we look more to the spiritual. But of course, many of us could put our hands up and say, well, we could do with seeing some miracles. That might sound like murmuring. Um, it isn't um, so much so that we see these miracles. We have to put our hands up and not be pretentious here. Many going around saying they're healing people and performing all these great miracles. But it doesn't look um, too convincing, if we're going to be honest, um, does it? Unlike the miracles of Jesus, even raising Lazarus from the dead, healing people that were blind and begging um, all of their lives, people that couldn't walk, leaping and hopping and praising God. So many, many, many um, great miracles um, Jesus performed. So, um, and all of this, um, again, uh, manifest in the Old Testament with, with Moses here. You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice and indeed keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So Moses coming down from the top of this mountain and the mount, um, in verse 18, it says, And the mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire. And the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount. The Lord called Moses up to the top of the mount and Moses went up. So very, very, very miraculous. And this is God in, in the Old Testament bringing the children of Israel out of Egypt on eagles' wings. So eagles' wings here, symbolic of the miraculous. Well, here we are in the last days and uh, many, many um, Christians of various denominations and, and backgrounds, uh, whatever they call themselves, whatever group gathering, whatever denomination, uh, many um, looking for deliverance from these days. Through the miraculous, you'd have to say, they're looking um, for the hope of all ages. <clears throat> the hope of the saints of all ages and um, being um, the resurrection, where the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So quite, quite rightly so, looking um, to the final great miracle of the resurrection. This is all pointing to the resurrection. Finally, um, Jesus will return to this troubled earth. We will turn to save mankind at, the, at its lowest end. And except those days, it says, should be shortened. In other words, stop. There should no flesh be saved. So Jesus intervening right at the last minute even to save mankind from himself and to save his own. To um, gather together his elect. In other words, those that are chosen by God, you have not chosen me, Jesus said. But I have chosen you. So if you've been chosen um, by Jesus, ye have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. <clears throat> so the saints of all ages have been told to go forth and bring forth fruit. Now, this is how it's been down through the ages. And so we have, let's say, this symbolic reference in the book of Revelations to the bride of Christ. Now, the bride of Christ is the saints of all ages. <clears throat> Jesus saying, I am. I am the way, the truth and the life. Now, in other words, I am in the bush, in the burning bush was Jesus. I am that I am. So I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. So it's very much Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we read how the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glories of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So those that have received Jesus by grace, meaning grace in short, can mean, is the one way of looking at it, unearned favour from God, yes. 
<clears throat> in that you didn't earn it, God just simply offered you salvation and you received it. And so you were ordained to receive um, Jesus Christ into your heart. You have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. So if you've been chosen by Jesus Christ, we might think we're taking the credit ourselves for choosing Jesus. But it's like we're ordained um, from the beginning to receive Jesus Christ, which we're not um, born of the flesh. Not born uh, of blood, um, not, bo not born of man, in, uh, but born of God. In other words, your very birth and uh, here was ordained by God, just like Jesus' birth was ordained by God. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We, um, our very birth here was ordained by God and our very um, second birth, our um, born again birth, um, born into the spiritual uh, world, uh, even though in a physical world, and now looking to the spiritual as opposed to the physical. And here we are in the last days, very much a physical world and very much a scientific world. And the only great wonder of the world today is the scientific world, as opposed to the um, the spirit world. But the scientific world um, is coming more from the spiritual in that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that is all of itself against the knowledge of the truth. So we're very much, um, very many Christians now, are very much um, miraculously um, born again, become a new creature. If any man be, be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, um, all things have become new, in that you now find you're living in a physical world, but you feel you need to operate in the spiritual world to survive here. And Moses even saying, um, uh, Wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou dwellest with us, so shall we be separated from all the people that dwell upon the face of the earth? So Moses very much looking to the spiritual, but having a physical manifestation in his day, in that he looked to the cloud, a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. When the, when the pillar of cloud by day or the pillar of fire by night uh, went forward, then the children of Israel would up sticks and bring down their tents, Pack up the um the tent of um uh, of congregation, the tent of meeting, um uh, the tent of those days being uh, more of a tent, and they would follow um wherever this um cloud by day led them, or pillar of fire by night, and so they very much had these physical manifestations in their day. And of course, this um, led the children of Israel out of Egypt and uh, out into the wilderness. So God bringing the children of Israel out and through the wilderness on eagles' wings. 